the next step for us to do is installing Minikube. Now, Minikube, like we mentioned previously, it's a local Kubernetes cluster focusing on making it easy for you to learn and de uh, develop on Kubernetes for testing purposes. Now, some of the prerequisites, prerequisites that you can see over here is regarding your system resources. For example, two CPUs or more, two GB of free memory, 20 gigabytes of free disk space, an internet connection for obvious reasons, and a container or a virtual machine manager. I'm going to be using Docker. You can also use something like a virtual box or anything else like that. Now, in order to install, go to this particular website and uh, you can install Minikube uh, related to your particular operating system and the architecture. So for example, I'm going to be using Mac OS and I'm all the Apple Silicon. So I'll, I'll be using the ARM architecture and I can just copy and curl this uh, particular command in order to get the binary executable. So I'm going to download the binary now and I'm going to install it. So as you can see, the binary is now downloading. Cool. Now you will not get a command if you are a Windows user. Instead, you can download the latest release from the uh, Minikube Windows AMD64.exe, you know, uh, system. So like here, this one, this is what I meant. So you can download it from here and uh, you can rename it to whatever you like, like something like minikube.exe and then you can add it to your path and it will work similarly. Let's try to validate this now. So minikube version, as you can see, it's particularly running. And now we are ready to give our cluster a spin. Let's take a look into a few more things related to minikube and how we can, you know, start this particular thing on our Kubernetes cluster, how, how we can spin up a Kubernetes cluster using this. So the, the folks behind, you know, Minikube, uh, they made uh, this thing very, very easy to use. All you need to do is execute one single command. So Minikube is going to start a virtual machine locally and deploy all the necessary Kubernetes components into it. Now, this VM will get uh, configured with like Docker and Kubernetes via a single binary that is known as local cube and uh, let me just see how we can do that so you can say mini cube start and i have uh, docker running over here so it's going to be using that but you can if you're using virtual box for example so you can use something like uh, vm driver is equal to virtual box so if you're using that it will be doing that for you let's start it as it is okay so when we are doing the minikube start command, it's basically creating a new virtual machine based on the minikube image. Now that image contains a few binary. It has both Docker and RKT container images, as well as a local cube library. RKT is an application container engine developed for modern production cloud native environments. And the local cube uh, library basically includes all the components that are necessary for running Kubernetes. Let's give it a few more minutes. Um, also, one more thing I want to share for Windows is that uh, you might experience some problems with VirtualBox. That's the case. You can use Hyper-V instead. So you can open up like a PowerShell admin window and execute the uh, get net adapter command and all these uh, things will be running for you. So if you're using uh, Windows, you can also follow this particular process and uh, you can also, you know, uh, then uh, go ahead and get started with it. All the other commands like, you know, minikube start, I, shows, I showed you like the VM driver in this particular case as a virtual box. If you're using Windows, you can add something like Hyper-V. Cool. All right. Now let's uh, try to verify this. So I, th I see it's running. So you can say cube, CTL, you can say something like get pods. Okay. And in order to verify it, you can say something like, um, These are a few pods that I had running previously, but uh, if you want to see this, see the verification, look at the status of the cluster, for example. So you can just say minikube status should be working. There we go. So you can see cube config configured, API server, kubelet, host, and type control plane, and everything is listed over here. So now our Kubernetes uh, minikube is running, and it is it and it initialized a Kubernetes cluster as well. It even configured kubectl so that it points to the newly created virtual machine. Let's also explore the Kubernetes dashboard. So if you just type this command called minikube 
डैशबोर्ड एंड वी गो टू दिस पर्टिकुलर यू आर एल दैट यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन सो हेयर यू कैन सी अक्यूबिन इट इज डैशबोर्ड सो यू कैन सी आई हैव अ फ्यू डिप्लॉयमेंट रनिंग एंड यू नो यू हैव अ नाइस नाइस thing that you have in your ui so feel free to explore the ui but you know don't take too long um if you're a beginner because we'll be diving more into the concepts uh, in the future videos so we'll learn about all these other objects that you know all the other kubernetes components and then the ui will start making much more sense thanks a lot for watching